yourself. Somebody not always warn you. You got to believe you're back up in a some, some Lord Jesus in a place. We can't buy and sell without the mark. So we have to train ourselves now to live by faith. we are to rejoice before we see physical evidence before it comes in our eyes we have to give God the glory tomorrow I don't know where I'm gonna lay my head tomorrow I don't know what I'm gonna eat but I'm gonna trust God it's not in man not in witchcraft not in misery but it's the Lord of hosts On holiday, me carry the church. When me in the in the PR, me carry the church. Hey, for in me. So anyway, here we go. Jesus is in me, is the church.
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As though our weary steps may falter and our souls are thirst may be, but we have a hope gushing from the rock before us a spring of joy we see. Sometimes a weary journey gets on our nerves sometimes. But you said gushing from the rock before us. Lo, a spring of joy I see. We're going to read our Psalm 120 to 134 in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. We come to glorify the name of the Almighty God. And Satan has got no part in our worship tonight. The Bible said that when the children of God came to present themselves, Satan came also, but the blood of Jesus Christ against him. We come to glorify the name of the Almighty God. And God must be exalted in this place tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Redeem thou I love to proclaim oh, yes. it. Redeemed. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through his infinite mercy. His child. His child and forever. Jesus. Jesus. 
hearts to know that they are mighty God. He went all the way to Calvary for our sins. He had no sins of his own. But yet he suffered, he bled and died for our sins. And that's why tonight we can sing that song because we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. The Bible said that the bloods of, of heifers and bullocks and, and turtle doves, it just could not take away the sins of the people. It took the Almighty God himself to come and die. But because God is a spirit, he had to come in flesh. And he came in the form of Jesus Christ to suffer, bled and died. So much of the Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And we thank God that we have a hope tonight. We thank God that God took us out of our sins one day. We thank God that when we were on our way to hell, God rescued us in time. And that's why we're in his house tonight singing, we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We're going to have a word from Sister Maureen in Jesus' name. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. His child and forever I am. And what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Sister Maureen in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. The song was saying, Redeem by the blood of the Lamb. Redeem means that you are set free. And tonight we just want to give God thanks because every one of us that came in here tonight, if we were bound, we would not be in here. So we give God thanks, knowing that he's the keeper of our life. You know I love to sing. I'm going to sing this song. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there is a friend who walks with me. Lead me safely through the sinking sand. It is a Christ of Calvary. This would be my prayer for each day to help me do the best that I can. For I need.
fire. I hope to meet Jesus there. Blessed Jesus. Hold, hold, hallelujah. Hold my hand. God bless you all in Jesus' name. The garment of praise. Glory. The garment of praise. Glory. Yes. When I kneel in prayer, blessed Jesus, hold my hands as I travel through this pilgrim land that there is a friend walks glory walk with me glory glory to God let's lead us safely to the sinking sand it is a cry glory of Calvary God is good this blessed Jesus hold my hands when I'm at work Lord hold my hands when I'm on the road, God, hold my hands. When I'm in college, God, hold my hands. When I'm in school, God, hold my hands. When I'm in church, God, hold my hands. Blessed Jesus, hold my hands. We give God thanks for Sister Maureen for that song. We're going to have a word from Sister Sandra. Sandra from, Sister Sandra from Jamaica. In Jesus' name. Have a word from Sister Sandra in Jesus' name. Blessed Jesus. When I kneel in prayer, that as I onward go and daily meet the foes that come to destroy us, that come to shut us down, say, Blessed Jesus, hold my hands. When the enemies come on us like a flood, the Bible said, The Spirit of the Lord God will lift up a stand against Him in Jesus' name. Give God praise. praise Amen. Amen. Praise the writer says, to God be the glory. Yes. Great things he has done. Yes. And all, we must give him praise whenever we can. Yes. I greet you all. I greet the Son of the God. And I greet my mother and pastor. And all my brethren in Jesus' name. Um, I'm standing here and I was thinking about this morning. As we were singing. You know, and... I just wanted to go back into St. John 1. Word was with God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You know, it's something I'd mark, mark. I just want to read it. And all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to be a witness of, that, of the light. That all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to be a witness of that light. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. And it says, he was in the world and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. Yes. You know, he came unto his own and they received him not. Yes. He came unto, sorry, but as many as received him to them gave him he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, Amen. which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwell amongst us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. Amen. And I was looking at that, and I was saying, that alone tell us that Jesus is God. If anybody yes. don't believe, Amen. that alone tell us that Jesus is God. He said the word was made flesh and dwell amongst us, yes. and we beheld his glory. Amen. Glory, the only begotten Father, 
full of grace and truth. You know, and I was looking at that, and I don't know if we can bring it up. The young people sang a song this morning, The Rising Stars. And it just seemed to back up the word when it said, Thy word, thy word, O Lord. That word gives strength. And as it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. You know, and they just satisfied it. And saints of God, we just have to believe and hold on to that, that God as they say, God is the lamp onto our, light onto our feet, onto our pathway. You know, He is Jesus. And if anybody don't believe in why we baptize in Jesus' name, Saint John one tell us that He's God. He walked amongst us in flesh. And I give God thanks for the day that I came to know Him. You know, and I just pray, pray my strength as I pray your strength. The windows of heaven are open. Yes. Ah! Uh -huh.
Jesus. So the reason why I'm happy, I'm feasting on manna from heaven. And that's why I'm happy. Thank God for his mercies and his love. Thank God for who he is. And uh, Malachi had told him that if they just do what God says. He said, God says, just prove enough here with. I said, if not, I'll open to you the windows of heaven. I said, I'll pour you out a blessing that there won't be room enough to receive it. So when we do what God says, then there's no telling to the blessing that we'll get from the Almighty God. You see, our job as a child of God is to, is to make sure that we bring the wood and we bring the, the knife, but then God himself will send the fire. Once God accepts our worship, we will feel the fire burning in our hearts. And as Pastor would say, we don't need to say, ask God to send the fire. When God accepts it, accept the worship, we will feel the fire burning in our hearts. So I, I, I love this song. Say, he gave me a robe of pure white. And the old tattered garments of sin. The, Bible, the song says we should lay aside the, the garments that are stained with sin. And be washed in the blood of the Lamb. So tonight we, we thank God that we have laid outside our, our filthy garments. And that we are walking in white. The Bible said there was a few in Sardis. A few in Sardis, the Bible said. He said they shall walk with me in white. For they are worthy. And we have to make sure that in our journey we are worthy to be dressed in the righteousness of God. As the song says, when he shall come with trumpet sounds. Oh may I then in him be found and dressed in his righteousness alone. Glory. Fallless to stand before the throne. So in all our trials and temptation. We have to make sure that in our dressing, we are dressed in the garments of righteousness. And you know, a lot of things are happening in the world today. That comes to stain our garments. But we have a charge to keep our garments white. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said be washed in the blood of the Lamb. And we give God thanks. Thank God for his mercies. Thank God for his love. And the Bible said, it's a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And we want God to be glorified in this place tonight. We want God to be exalted. For God is our refuge and our strength. And he's a very present help in the time of trouble. Sometimes you feel like there's no way out. But God is only a prayer away. The song says, take the name of Jesus with you. Child of sorrow. And of woe, it will joy and comfort give you. It says, take it then, wherever you go. And you know, I was reading, I was reading the story of that song. And that song was written by a, a woman who was, she was paralyzed. And then they couldn't understand why she had such a joy. Being paralyzed and had such a joy. And they said that whenever any Christian was feeling depressed and want some encouragement, they go to see this lady. And they just couldn't understand why you're paralyzed and have such a joy. And many years later, she wrote this song that says, take the name of Jesus with you. And she was saying that some days when she feel a bit down, and that's why she said, when temptation round you gather, so just breathe that holy name in prayer. And with such confidence, Precious name, oh how sweet, it's our hope on earth and our joy in heaven. We're going to have a word from Brother Joel Miller, in Jesus' name. Brother Joel, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The garment of praise, the garment of praise, the garment of praise in Jesus' name. No heaviness, no heaviness, the garment of praise in Jesus' We are like this stone, the Bible said. We come to glorify God. We are the lightest soul to give God glory. And no demon should come beside us tonight. That God get no glory tonight. God must be exalted. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the ending. He is the first and the last. He said, my glory, I will give to another. He is our refuge and our strength. 
Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm giving God thanks I'm in his house another time. I thank God that all my members are working. I thank God that I'm in my right mind. You know, brethren, um, earlier in the break, um, Brother Howard mentioned something. Um, I knew I was thinking about it. And I said it before a few weeks ago, but it came back to me. And I was saying that we all have things that we go through. Each and every one have things that we go through. We go through trials and pain. And as a child of God, it's a must that we have to go through things. But the difference between us and the world is that the way we go through it, we have an advocate. We have a high priest. We have somebody that we can bring it to. And we know that we will get our deliverance. Because God said in his word, if you ask in anything concerning me, touching anything concerning me, in my name, then it shall be done. So brethren, I want us to take courage because there's sometimes where we go through situations and when we're going through the situation, it shows on our face. It's times that we go through the situation and we're upset and we're down. But we have to remember, the world goes through things. We have to remember that the ones that don't have God should not be looking. We shouldn't be looking like the ones that don't have God. Because if we say that we have God on the inside, he must manifest on the outside. And I was looking into it that when we go through our test and our troubles, we have to give the praise onward. We have to give God thanks in our situation. No matter if it looks bleak, it's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. But no matter how bleak it is, we have to come with a praise. Because God put us in this situation. As brother, um, somebody said earlier today, God is eternity. There's time. And as Mr. Dixon says, there's time. And God is outside of time. So God knows the beginning, the middle, and the ending already. So he knows that he's going to deliver and he's going to help. But it's just for us to prove him. And I was looking, brethren, in the word of God, if you realize the children of Israel, when we were reading this, the, the scriptures, the children of Israel, I didn't come up here with anything. But as it came to me just now, the children of Israel, they went through so much. They were in Egypt and they saw what God did for them. Then they came out of Egypt and saw again what God did for them. And afterwards, when they were out, they still saw what God did for them. But as human beings, for us, we forget easily, number one. And number two, we, are, we find it hard to live by faith. If you realize, Reverend, a lot of people nowadays, especially say in this day and age, in this country, you have people that are bigger, like physically bigger, because they get too dependent on the car, they get too dependent on the delivery, they get too dependent on things coming to quick, 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 and they get dependent on it. When you go to Jamaica, I was talking to somebody and they said if they still lived in Jamaica, they wouldn't be as big as they are. Because they have to climb mountains, they have, not mountains, but hills. They have to climb hills and they have to walk and they have to go and do stuff. They have to climb tree, go get what they need to do and they have to stay fit. And I was looking into it spiritually and I was saying, the children of Israel, they got too complacent. And the thing is that they didn't like, it was hard for them because as humans, we, like, we, we don't like living by faith. It's hard for us to live by faith. Imagine today you're saying, okay, tomorrow I don't know where I'm going to lay my head. Tomorrow I don't know what I'm going to eat, but I'm going to trust God. But they got to a point where they knew what they're going to eat tomorrow. Like us, we know what we're going we're gonna to go to our bed. We know when we go in, we're going to have our house and it's our house. We know when we go to the shop, we have money in the account to say, let me get this. But it's hard to live by faith. And the word of God says that it's going to get to a point and a place we can't buy and sell without the mark. So we have to train ourselves now to live by faith. As we said yesterday with Bishop, he put the faith in the brethren. That's why the brethren have the faith. He taught them faith. And I'm saying that we need to have faith. We need to exercise and rise our faith in God. Because the time is going to come where they say, no, 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 no. We got your bank account. You have your 250,000 in there. But if you don't take the mark, you're not getting no money. And we have to be like the children of God where we rise our faith in God. And we have to depend on God. Because as humans, brethren, we don't like depending on faith. We like to be sure of tomorrow. We like to plan ahead for tomorrow. But the children of Israel couldn't do that. They didn't know where the food was coming from. And God provided it from the sky. They didn't know, but it's hard to live by faith. And my encouragement, brethren, is that we will exercise our faith. Because when they come and they knock on your door and say, excuse me, this mortgage, yeah, it's not yours. You have to go because you haven't got the chip. We have to live by faith. When we go to the doctors and we say, oh, Bridget, you know, 
They said that I have cancer in my, in my lungs. When they say you have to take the chip, I'm not saying it's a direct chip, but the Bible says it's a mark. And when you have to take that, and you say, you know what, no, I'm not taking it, then you're going to have to depend on your faith. So, brethren, as our pastor says, send it ahead. Send it ahead. And the Bible, the songwriter says, Savior, rise my faith in thee till it can move a mountain. And it says, Lord, I believe. It says, all my doubts are buried in the fountain. So, brethren, let's have the faith. Let's exercise the faith. Because it's sometimes you go through things and you say, God, why did this? Why did that? Why did this? I've been through things. I say, God, why did this? Why did that? But later on down the line, it's for somebody else. Later on down the line, it's for me to get higher in God. So my encouragement, brethren, is that we will exercise our faith and that God will get all the glory in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. You know, uh, as Brother Joe was speaking just now, um, he's mentioned something about um, about children of Israel. And then something just, just occurred to me, right? That... In our, in our day and age, and like as a, as a Christian or as a human being, like we, we wait until like say, you know, if you're a cricket uh, supporter, and say we're seeing this playing or whatever, your football supporter, or I don't know, um, volleyball or netball or whatever. As human being, we, and if you go to school or a college, you're, you're waiting till you get your exam results. And I'm saying as, as human beings, we tend to be happy and, and joyous when we get the result. When your team score a goal, that's when we rejoice. But I'm saying this to say that, right? The Bible said that God spoke to Joshua. And this is even before they got the land. Even before they got the land, God said to Joshua, He says, Every place. That the sole of your feet shall tread upon. That have I given unto you as I said unto Moses. So as a child of God, we ought to rejoice before we see physical evidence. Before it comes in our eyes, we have to give God the glory. We're not like a footballer wait for a goal to score. We don't wait for our cricket to, to, you know, to lick out the wicked. We are children of the living God. And we ought to rejoice before we ever see the evidence. And that's the difference between a child of God and a child of the devil. Because we don't see it, but we know it's coming. And you know, no matter what you're going through, once you trust God, God will come through for you. The song said, God cannot change. God cannot fail. And whatever the Lord promised, that will he do. So no matter what you're going through, God will come through for you. If you're sick, before you get healing, start to rejoice. You're looking for a job, before you get a job, you start to rejoice. Before you get a house, you start to rejoice. Because the Lord is our provider. So we have every reason to celebrate and give God thanks. That's why, as I said, brethren, we are children of the living God. We, you know, Ezra, Ezra says, when Ezra was heading back to Jerusalem, Ezra said, he said, I was a sh the, the king offered Ezra, uh, I think, a horseman and so forth to take him to Jerusalem. And, and Ezra said, he said, I was ashamed to take it from them. Why? Because he talked about how big and great God is. And sometimes we forget our testimony so much time. That we, we talk about how big and strong and mighty God is. And sometimes when we come to the test, we forget and change our testimony. Ezra, thanks, Riz. He said, for I was ashamed. To require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way. Because we had spoken unto king saying, the hand of our God is upon all of them for good that seek him. But his power and his wrath is against all of them that forsake him. So what Ezra was saying, I know, who, I know the God in whom I serve. I know the baptism in Jesus name. I know that God is God. I know that God came in flesh as Jesus. 
And he said, I'm ashamed to ask anybody for help. Yes. So what I'm saying, brethren, we have to have that confidence to know that when you trust God, yes. he will always come true for you. He said, I was ashamed. And I'm saying that God says to him, he said, everywhere your foot trod on, he said, I've given it to you. They did not get it yet. But said, I've given it to you. So which means it's a reason to give God thanks. So whatever you need tonight, before you get it, rejoice. Whatever you're looking to God for, before you get it, celebrate God. If you need healing, just celebrate God. You know, some, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> you know, um, this man back home, uh, is, is my auntie's father. And the doctor told him, because he was sick with his heart. And the doctor told him and says that the way how his heart is so bad, he said, if it is possible that he's walking on the road and his cap falls off his head, he should not even bend on and pick it up. And I'm saying this to say that this man is not a Christian. This man was not a Christian. And what he did, he went to his field and started to plow his yam hill and dig his yam hill. And he lived many, 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 many years after that. And what I'm saying is, he was not a Christian. And somehow we got doctors and doctors shut me down. Doctors put my lot down. And we obey the doctor more than God. The Bible said that when they threatened Peter, he said, whether it's right to obey God more than man, he said, Georgie. He said, but we cannot help but be the things that we see and know. So when you have confidence in God, when you have evidence that God is the deliverer, nobody can tell you differently. Because you trust in the almighty God. He said, I trust in God. I know he cares for me. Whether I'm on the land, on the air, in the, on the sea. He said, no pillows roll. But the waters ought to draw me. But the waters ought to capsize the boat. He said, no pillows roll. He keeps my soul. My heavenly father watches over me. We're going to ask the Kimberly to do a testimony for us in Jesus' name. Yes, he is great. He is great. Yes. It is his name. Yes, he is. He's the greatest one. Forever, forever. Forever the same. He rolled by the wall.
God testify, saints. Praise God.
got a letter to say that I'm going to my house of Paris. I'm thinking you wash. I said, how did this go? Remember from Brixton. And I laugh and I said, God, no way would they do it with that amount of parades. And when they found it out, they found out it was their fault. Uh, but I still had to pay it back. But God is good. I paid it back. What I'm saying to your bedroom, even in that, God can be hiding. That is true. That's a good one. is good, you know. Yes. In fact, God can shit and yes. For him to bless you. You're yeah. right. That is true. Bedroom, put your trust in God. Amen.
here, something is not right because I had the spirit to call them. The sister in America had the spirit to call her dad. Mm -hmm. And believe you me, brethren, they called the ambulance. The ambulance came at, I meant to leave home at quarter to seven, but I said I can't leave until I know exactly what is going on. Seven o'clock, I saw flashing blue lights. Um, ambulance came, the fire came, brethren, he was having an heart attack in that room. I said, God, you know why you kept me there. There's times I said, I want to go, yes. but God kept me there. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thanks one more time. I'm giving God thanks to know all, all my doubt. He said, Christ, I can say yes. I can say yes tonight to know my whole account. Second. 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 Through the blood of Christ. Amen. Since he went to Calvary, yes. all of that home yes. is sacred in that Jesus. That is true. Amen. Because I know truly, 
is to be praised in Jesus name from the rising of the sun unto the going down does the same the name of the Lord is to be praised from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same
son. Truly going down on the same. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Says, let no man take thy crown. Yes, praise the Lord Jesus. From when I wake up in the morning till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. Every day that I live, I am blessed. So from the rising of the sun to the going on of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. He is the Almighty God. He is the Alpha, the Omega. He is the beginning and the ending. He is a bright and morning star. He is the first and the last. He is the Lord God Almighty. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the good shepherd. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Crown him, crown him. Lord of all. Yes, from the rising of the sun. Glory to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. Thank you for his goodness. Thank you for his love. Thank you for his greatness. Thank you for his mercies. Because if mercy hadn't prevailed, we'd have been dead a long time ago. But thanks be to God that in the nick of time, when he saw that my soul was going down to hell, and I was seeking far from the peaceful shore, I was seeking to rise no more. But the master of the sea, glory, he heard my despairing cry, glory, and from the waters he lifted me. No safe am I. Some I'm safe within the harbor. No harm can come to me. Said I am protected 24-7. I'm no I'm safe within the harbor. And says, Yes, I'm overshadowed by his boundless love. And I have a 24-hour protection from the Lord above. It's not in man, not in witchcraft, not in wizardry, but it's the Lord of hosts, the God Jacob. He promised to hear us in the day of trouble. He promised to send us help from the sanctuary. And I trust in the Almighty God. Vain is the help of man. He said, you did not trust your own. But on Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Everything is bound to fail. But Jesus never fails. Because from the rising of the sun to the going on of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. And God is a good God. We thank God for his love. We thank God for his mercies. We thank God that he went all the way and took. The Bible said he, he triumphed over them. The Bible said that he, he blotted out. And I'm telling you something, Virgin, that when you, when you write something, and you don't want nobody to know what you've written and you, you made a mistake. You, you blot it out. You, you, you get a, a mark or a pen and, and blot it out so nobody can't read it. And the Bible said that he blotted out a transgressions with the handwriting, the Bible said, of ordinances that was against us. So every sin in my life, God blot it out. So the song said, when Satan raised accusation, I can tell him it's under the blood. When he said you are a liar, I said it's under the blood. When he said you are a thief, it's under the blood. When he said you are a murderer, it's under the blood. When he said you are a criminal, it's under the blood. So when Satan raised accusation, I tell him it's under the blood. And the song said in the rock I hide, and in the shadows I'll abide. Says so when the storms of life, glory, are raging over me. Says so in the rock, glory, I hide. The Bible said, for my life is hid with Christ in God. So if my life is hidden in Christ, the devil can't find me. If my life is hid, the song said, he hided my life in the depths of his love. And he covers me there with his hand so I give God thanks that it took the almighty God 
He didn't say Gabriel. He didn't say Abraham. The song said, it wasn't an angel who spoke to me. He came himself and died for the sins of mankind. And if it was just me alone, he still would die. He went all the way to Calvary. Imagine, he, he suffered like a murderer. And the Bible said that from the sixth to the ninth hour, there was darkness upon the land. The sun refused to shine. And the Bible said darkness was upon the land. From the sixth to the ninth hour. And he went through all that for you and I. He had no sins of his own. The Bible said he was tempted in all points like we are, but yet without sin. And that's what the Bible said. Because he's done that, I can go boldly, glory, to the throne of grace, to obtain strength and help in time of need. So when I need strength, the song says, who do I go to? When nobody wants to listen. Who do I lean on? When there's no foundation stable, said I go to the rock. I know he's able. I go to the rock. And in this rock, which is Jesus, I hide. In the shadows, I'll abide. God is so good to us. We're going to sing this song. Um, uh, when Jesus comes to reward his servants, maybe night, whether it be noon or night, you know it? When Jesus comes to reward his servants, whether it be noon or night, faithful to him will he find us watching with our lamps all trim and bright. Oh, 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 and we say, we are ready.
thank you, Jesus. That's the most important thing. That when he comes, he'll find us watching and waiting. And one songwriter puts it that says, When I, when I hear the trumpet sounding in the sky and see the mountains trembling, it's to heaven I will fly. For Jesus will be calling. There'll be no time to mend. So the many time is no. The many time is Sunday night service. Many time is Tuesday night service. Mending is prayer meeting. Mending is fasting. Mending is Bible teaching. He said there'll be no time to mend. So when the trumpet sounds, we can't say, oh, I didn't speak to source for 25 years. I'm going to make it right. It's too late then. Amen. You can't say, well, ask him to pray for me because it's too late then. He said there will be no time to mend. So the many time is no. So if you have something against me and I have something against you, it's many time no. Amen. So that's why the Bible said in St. Luke, he said, the, 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 the person came to the king and said, avenge me of my enemies. And he says that the king uh, granted the person this request because he said the person was, in my words, pestering the king, annoying the king. And the Bible said that, imagine, the king granted the, 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 the servant the request. And what he said at the end, he said, nevertheless, nevertheless, he said, with all of that, when, not if, when the Son of Man cometh, will he find faith on the earth? So when I pray to God and say, God, fight my enemies, and God answer my prayer, and I jump and say, Brethren, you know, I had an enemy on my case, and I, I came to fasting and, and ask prayer, and the Lord sat them. And we jump and rejoice. Oh, I have a neighbor who was so annoying, and I, I pray to God and say, God, move the neighbor. And God move on the neighbor. Yes. I, 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 go to, I go to school and somebody told my child and said, God, start on the teacher. And the teacher gets sick. But he said, with all of that, with all that we ask God to fight our enemies, will he find you and me watching when he returns? Because it's, it's all right, I, I pray to God to do this and do that. But he said, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, will he find faith on the earth? Will he find you and me watching and waiting? You see, Virgil, we are living a time like never before. The song says, through this changing world below. And every day the world change. And we see the song as well that uh, freedom we all hold dear now is at stake. And our freedom we taken away. And everything around us change. What the Bible says, in your patience, possess your soul. And what God also said, he said, occupy till I come. So when you are a child of God and you're watching and waiting, you occupy till God come. Which means that you occupy in prayer, you occupy in fasting, you occupy in reading the word, you occupy in telling somebody about the goodness of God. So he said, occupy till I come. And he says, in your patience, possess your soul. So with all that's going on around the world, you know, no matter how much I know your work, he said, in your patience, possess that soul of yours. Because they can, they can scandalize you, they can pull you down, but as long as they don't touch the soul. And that's what the Bible said, keep that heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So what I'm saying, Virgin, that it's good that we, we ask God to do a lot for us. But he says, when the Son of Man cometh, will he find you and me watching? And, and the, the Bible said that what can a man give in exchange for his soul? God is coming soon. And whether you're ready or not, God is coming soon. Whether you reject it or not, God is coming soon. 
And the Bible said, every eye shall behold him. And it will be very... You know something? I, I, I was... The, the, the message that pastor gave us, uh, the scriptures. And I said to myself the other day, I said, 70 years they were in captivity. 70 years they were in captivity by the enemy in Babylon. And I'm saying, imagine, God says um, that by, he said uh, our, our, our years are three score and ten. But the Bible said that our years are 70. And my original strength. But the point I'm making is, imagine for an entire lifetime that you're in bondage. Imagine an entire lifetime that you're in bondage. Imagine from the day that you get saved because we've been so rebellious against the word of God. We're in bondage till death. Imagine, I said to myself, I said, imagine 70 years was a, a long time to be in bondage. And I was saying the other day, I know I didn't say nothing um, in the week, but I said to myself that um, to, understand, to understand the book of Ezra and Nehemiah, you then have to read the last chapter of Second Chronicles. I can't remember what it's 24, I can't. But the last chapter of Second Chronicles, it kind of gives you that day. The background. And what I'm saying is 70 years in captivity. And what a wasted years that 10 years in church we're in captivity. 20 years we've been tossed about by the devil. I want to say I don't mean Babylonian enemies. I'm talking about the devil himself. And, and you know another thing as well. Sometimes God put us in captivity himself you know because the Bible says that in Deuteronomy 28 God says that just as how I was pleased to bless you. He said, just as how I was pleased to give you a pay rise at work and, a, 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 you know, a, I don't know, a new house or a new car or land. And he said, just as how God was pleased to give that to you and me, he said he'll be just as happy to curse us. And, and sometimes, Virgin, you know, when we see this song that says, um, you have longed for sweet peace and for faith to increase and we have earnestly, fervently prayed. So I can ball up my throat wall, I can holler till my eyes red, I can beat my belly button, I can, I can, I can scream and shout, but he said, I will never find rest. I'll be perfectly blessed. Until all is on the altar of sacrifice. So my whole body must be on the altar of sacrifice. So, and that's the only way that I can be blessed. And I'm saying this because God, the Almighty God, He is just and fear. Deuteronomy 32 says, For He is the rock, His word is perfect. A God of truth and without iniquity says just and right is he. So what God says that when I do good, he'll bless me. When I do wrong, he turn enemies against me. So it's so when I do what well against God will and God rise on enemies against me, God is doing what is just and right. So when he bless me, he's doing what is just and right and i'm saying brethren that thanks he said he is the rock his work is perfect for all his ways are judgment a god of truth and without iniquity just and right is he so god is not an unfair god God's not an unjust God. God may give me exactly what I deserve. And sometimes we, we get what we deserve and then rather than repenting and asking God for forgiveness, we blame each and everybody else and not ourselves. For he said, just and right is he. So when I do evil against God, when I get punished, God's been just and right. So I'm saying this, Virgin, that 
we have to take stock at myself and all of us in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name it says when the son of man cometh will he find you and me watching we're gonna call it night's offering in Jesus name we're gonna sing a song I'll call it night's offering in Jesus name thank you Jesus Jesus, Jesus, you're excellent. Yes. You are excellent in all the earth. Jesus, Jesus, you're excellent. You are excellent in all the earth. And if the people don't want to praise you, you are excellent in all the earth. And if the people don't want to praise you, you are excellent in all to God. He is excellent in all the earth. He is high and lifted up. He is the Lord God Almighty. We're going to hear from Minister Miller in Jesus name. Praise the saints. Somebody just came to me to say, share with the church. Um, we talk about captivity and um, Ezra and Nehemiah. But in the book of Daniel, remember when King Nebuchadnezzar made a decree that there is no God but the God of Israel? And those that bowed down, they didn't bow down to the image. And they made, a, they made a, um, a statue that their God is the only true God. So Israel heard about it, didn't they? They heard about what happened. So they had no reason to go bow down to any image because they, they see what the king did in the statue. When 
Daniel went to the lion's den, that was under King Darius, Persian Empire. So they heard about Daniel with Nebuchadnezzar. They heard about Daniel in the lion's den under the Persian Empire, Darius, when he was in the lion's den. He came out, not harmed. They all heard about that. In captivity, then God was right there with them. Is that right? Daniel was, Nebuchadnezzar made the decree. All the nations, all the empire, this God of Israel is the true God. They didn't bow to the image. In, when it, King, King um, Cyrus, under the next empire, the Persian empire, made a decree also that those that speak against Daniel God will be thrown in lion den. So two kings made a decree. So how can they fail God then? Tell me. After the king of the land made a decree that your God is the true God, how you still end up in sin? Come on, brother, you're not hearing me. The kings of the land made a decree in their land that God, Israel, is the true God. So how is it then that you, God, people, end up in that mess? Where the king already gave you access to worship. Which is we the one to change. That's what I want to say. They had opportunity. The king made a decree. You're free to worship your God. So how can you, why is it then they can't do it? Read it, read it again yourself. The king Nebuchadnezzar made a decree that no other God must be worshipped but this God. Didn't make it. Darius came afterwards. Made another decree. The God of Israel is the only true God. So how can you end up in captivity after all of that? But Howard, here you are. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise Lord Jesus. Praise Lord Jesus. Praise Lord. And uh, as what Minister Miller said, uh, and just to add that, because um, God, just to add to what Minister Miller said, right? God had spoken to his people before and said to them that, they were to work the land for every six years. The seventh year was to give the land a rest. That was like a sabbatical year to give the land a rest. And I'm saying to say that, right? That God says in Second Chronicles, the last chapter there, he says that because they did not listen to God to give the land a rest for the seventh year, God said he'll put them in captivity for 70 years to give the land a rest. And I'm saying this to say that, that a time of rest to God is our prayer life, our dedication to God. So God wanted us to be in a place where we can call upon him, to cry out to him, to have a fellowship with him. But instead we did our own thing. And that's why God says, because they didn't give the land a rest, give the land its Sabbath, and it moved up to 70 years. God said he'll put them in captivity for 70 years. And imagine I was saying to myself, all my life in church. 70 years. The Bible said 70 years of our life spent in bondage, locked up and shut down because we don't obey the word of God. And I'm saying that there is hope in God. There is hope in God. The same God who spoke to Jonah and Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh because he said that I know that you're a merciful God I know that you're a gracious God and Jonah the Bible said he paid his fear to go down to Tarshish because he was running from God and none of us can run from God the Bible said the earth is the Lord's the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein so none of us can hide from God so the Bible said Jonah paid his fear to go down to Tarshish. And what I'm saying is, we don't want to be, we don't be a, a very hardened evangelist. A hardened servant of God that we preach in repentance and deliverance. And yet still we want people to be destroyed. Because the Bible said Jonah sat down and watched to see what would become of the city. And I'm saying there is hope in God. When we turn back to God. We see the fire of God in our soul. And I'm saying all our job is to bring the wood. And God accepts us. He'll send the fire. In Jesus' name. 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We're going to hear from a pastor right now. We're going to stand, please. And we're going to hear from a pastor. Pastor A.M. Douglas. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. O oh, to be, O oh, to be, his hands extended, Reach. reaching out to the oppressed. Let me touch him, let me touch Jesus. So that others may know and be blessed. I was straying far from Jesus. Yes. I was lonely. Somebody needs and no peace within. That is true. Then the hand yes. of my Savior touch me. Touch somebody, Jesus. Now I'm reaching to others. Help me, Lord. Help me. Jesus. Oh, to be. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. His hands extended. Jesus. Reaching out to the oppressed. Let me touch. Let me touch him. Jesus. Let me touch Jesus. Touch somebody, Jesus. So that others will know. May know. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us. Help us, Jesus. I was straying. Far from Jesus, Lord Jesus, I was lonely. God shows ourselves and no peace within. Jesus, Jesus. Then the hand, yes, of my Savior touch me. Touch somebody now, Lord. Now I'm reaching. Yes, Lord, touch to somebody. God, as you touch me, touch somebody. All to be your hand, Lord. His hands extended, Jesus, reaching out to the oppressed. Somebody need you, Lord. Let me touch him, Lord. Somebody need. You. Let Somebody need you right so now. So that others, Lord of mercy, may know and be blessed. And be blessed. All to be, Lord, help me. His hands extended. Some box line. Reaching out. Some cinema. To the oppressed. Some cinema woman, Lord. Let me. God, let me touch you. Amen. Let me touch Jesus. I can help them, Lord. I can help so them. So that If I can only help somebody. Hey, God. And be blessed. Jesus. Oh, to help be. Me. That I can help somebody. His hands extended. Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Reaching out. Tonight, let me touch you. And I need help. Let me touch Jesus. Jesus. Somebody need your Jesus. So that others God, somebody may need know Jesus. And be blessed. Touch somebody, touch somebody, oh, touch somebody. To touch be somebody. Yes, Lord. His hands extended. God, make me a blessing to somebody. Out Personal. To the oppressed, make us a blessing. Let me touch him. 
Jesus went something done. Wonder everywhere we went, what we done, right in the congregation. I'm glad that that person was saying, "Let you." And this song is not for me and not for you. You get me? I can't tell you looking at you why you never touch him and why you never and why 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 why. He said, "Let me touch Jesus." Because he want others to be blessed. So he said, if I touch Jesus, I would reach out to the lonely house. Hey, I would be reaching out to the backsliders. I would be reaching out to the murderers. I would be reaching out to the other one, them that you know sinning. I would be coming in church and jumping and kicking all the time. And in the week, even then, in the week, even once a month, I would have to phone up a sinner and say, Come, I would not have to have a law sinning on the light already. You are light, you are salt. But what about the depressed? The lonely, the broken hearts. Somebody, sometimes, they don't cook enough that if somebody pass are hungry, they don't get none. But our parents used to put that for this. That, and when they don't put, they said, this will pass by. That for the hungry. So if you come, you get food. That's true. Now, if we don't touch God for our sake, He said, if you seek me, you shall. And he, didn't say, he said, if you seek me, you shall find me. He said, if you open, I will. But, you, hey, but He don't force you. He said, if you open, then I will come into you. If you shut him out, him go. And him don't quarrel, him don't vex, him don't show off for nobody. Yet he suffer and die for us. That is real. And when you look in the, the good God Almighty, the, 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 what we were carrying or what we, we were bearing or the way how we were behaving, you wonder how he changed us. Somebody was talking about our life is seven old. So we say, well, me only 16. Me are 49 by then. I'm only 40, I'm only 36. 
So I have a long year, 70. I won't reach here so yet, but look, I'm only 15. So I have something to tell you. Now wait for that. Because if you go down to the cemetery, I went, nipple buckle down there. Nipple buckle, because baby. Then put the nipple buckle and teddy bear. And they had the middle age. Yes. They drink them drinks, them drink them. And they put the back there. And they're not 70. Amen. And those that they didn't love whoever died, and they're 35, they put the picture there with love words. Yes. But that person, if they're not ready, don't worry. Else shall be there too. And we need to help somebody before they get there. Yes. Amen. So what I'm saying, if I could help somebody. Yeah. No, if we say our sin is buried and it's stuck away, and God cover it and it's gone. If you sin again, that was that. That's when you come to Jesus Christ and he wash your sin. So that's gone. Amen. But what you do doing now, that's what matters. Amen. That is what we're going to judge for. Yes. The one we baptize the old man and we never baptize the deeds. We never baptize the deeds. That's why we get up still malice. Still have the envy. Still causing division. Still making strife. Because we never bury the deeds, you see. That's why the word of God says, add to your faith, yes. add virtue, yes. add temperance, yes. and then you add and add and you take off. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So that was then, as Brother Jerome did. Yes. That was then when me baptized. But after me baptized with that, whatever I'm doing now, yes. that will be the problem. Yes. If I don't accept what I'm doing wrong to Almighty God and to me bridging them. Because sometime around God can help God like God want me to help him. And we leave me bridging there. And would have pung and kill them and don't care if they go to hell. And sinner, we scorn him, we would him tell him hello. But Jesus wasn't like that. He went to the whore. He went to the lonely. He went to the sick. He went to the hungry. And he was God Almighty, I know. And he went into the heart, which is dirty. He washed it out. The dirt and the muck. From the head to the toe. In the body, in the mind, in your spirit. And he renewed your right spirit. Then he come, amen. He come in. So even if we sing, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, we are singing like that person. Yes. So that person perhaps indeed going at their heart. But if my heart no right, like the donkey him ride, nobody never ride that donkey. Nobody never buried under that tomb. And me never have no man. God won't take second and mix up. God take first. That's why somebody say, let him have first place in your heart. So I'm going to stop here. Let's look into it. I can't give account for you and you can't give for me neither. Not true. That's why we're praying for one another. And we hope and trust that we have a good heart. And what a wish for ourselves. That's why God said, love your neighbor like me. Me should love my neighbor like how me love me, like myself. The word of God said, let every man examine himself and draw. So we don't come in here to examine you. We come in here to look in our life and see if we're dead tonight. Or see, have we got a star on our crown? Or see that somebody wants a star and we want to rub it off and move them away that they don't get even nothing. Do you know that Jesus never go anywhere and drive anybody away from him? And put them down that they must go to hell. 
he said he rather not the death of a sinner but that all should repent and come are you depressed Jesus will look after you are you in sorrow he's gonna take that's me are you sinning if you ask him he'll let you stop whatever you ask and believe is the only belief he never said me must believe for you and you believe for me so me have to wait till when you pass it say it you're not god almighty is you and me and god almighty because he said he, he come in everybody hearts so although we are telling you and you are telling me if i don't mix it with faith it don't profit you're right when god lead you to tell me but if i don't believe i mix it with faith i'm not gonna change but you're free if you tell me you're free you don't have to quarrel and upon me that me have to, me not have to believe if God Almighty not put him in my heart and me humble my heart and obey God through you the Bible said they stone the prophet God sent them to, to preach against them not we, because they were wrong so God called the prophet with the word to preach against them so they hurt and they kill them I don't want to be like that but the word of God said they that have an ear will hear but this we said to the church. But we say in me, that's why when we go on holiday, we carry the church. When we in the in the PR, we carry the church. Hey, for in me. So anyway, here we go. Jesus is in me, he's the church. So I want to pray with somebody. Too. I want to let us know that our sin has been washed away when we repent and stop Amen. so if we are living in sin Amen. we got to stop Amen. we got to accept that we're not right in the sight of god man no no then can't shout you know the mouth then can't shout till the mouth swear then can even hold you and you can box them away from you because you don't want to hear from them it's just you and god if God don't change our mind, our ways, and action, if we don't ask him and, and accept who we are and ask God to change us individually, and me say that they pray for carry on. And we they pray for Brother John and ask for Brother Own on in life now, right? Make we stay there. And why them and that and them, them and them. We gotta point in our own life, brethren. Holy perverts, but the Bible said it did not profit them. Father, they didn't mix it with they did they did mix it with faith. So he said it, it come out like leaking. He go in one and come out the next. So if you're gonna help somebody through Jesus Christ and God Almighty not reach them, you can never last in the word God. He never moves. So the, the minister was saying in all that patience possess you but I said we can do everything but that is for his name seek we're gonna stop and let's just look into ourselves we don't want to watch Tom Dick and Harry we don't want to want other people to do that I have a plan out they should and they should what happened to me we're gonna stand please we're gonna go home and think a woman up in your Bible and look in there. Amen. Amen. If God Almighty no let we walk, we can't move. No. If God Almighty no let we wake, we don't wake. Amen. If no matter how we think we're powerful and high, and strong and eat well and exercise, <laughs> and eat it what the doctor say, and the doctor did. I can understand people working over here and them poor. And them working over here, they hold the job. But when they go to work, they have to work. I don't understand. <laughs> you have to work and them sack you. And you're working to hold the job. 
You shouldn't work because you are hit, you shouldn't have to work. You just go to work and them shut down and set them out. And I sit down and pay me my money. You see what I'm saying? So when we are going to do our wickedness and tricks, remember, if God no know us, we dead see him. But it's for our, uh, what you call, condemnation. Especially when we know, are we going around and making a mischief? And if a last thing pung in you, and I'm out. While I'm pung in you to be saved, all the men are tears so, and me at home, me are finna my bedroom, and me say, Jesus. Take good. Jesus, help me dead tonight. God and George may come. Help me to be ready. Then me say, God, deliver the virgin. God, give them strength. Give them grace. Give them power. Give them overcoming strength, God. Do not let them go astray. God, bring them to you. Bind the heart to you, God. Bring them up. But if me gonna ever lost, in a tongue and pray and ever lost, then I'm gonna be out. But by me, I watch if you take in the word. And if you change, sometimes you change in your heart, your heart change. That because you jump and cut tongues, that don't mean say you change. But you can change in your heart and God know you change. And then you show it by patience and everything different with you. But you don't a jump and cut no tongues in here. But you change, you're showing a different base of whatever you use to so stop. How you, 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 you just change. Anybody need a prayer here today? Anyone need a special? We're gonna close. Amen. The hand of God stretch out still. You don't have to be 70 for some of you not going to live for 70. So in here, you're not gonna live for 70. Then how are you? I don't know about that. God in his mercy. Give me over that, but that no mean a lot die after me, after me. So don't buy that thing say, you're young. To God you're neither young nor old. It's your life that matters. Are you walking? Are you talking with the Lord? Do you live in God's sight? When nobody not watch you. In God's sight. Do you live? In God's sight, pure, that God Almighty can say yes. Amen. And the anointing in you and upon you is from Him. Amen. He may not examine none. I'm talking to me. Hey! I'm talking. When the government will rise up like Nebuchadnezzar and they start, Jamaica. Jamaica, you don't have to know key if you go in a hotel out there, you know. You don't need no key, not even the card, no. They have a piece of string, but whatever in the string, you put it on your hand and clip it. And you use that and open the door when you hotel. And I feel you uncomfortable, I take care of it in my bag. But I find say, something not right with that something, why I can't sleep. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because you think of how they used to mark, so you know you have green and that one for your wife, you, you know what I mean. No, that is a hope in the door. And it's peace of God. Jesus God Almighty. When the demons go into the mara, God go into them, they rise up against us. Are we, de are we determined to go to hell? That's the time, brethren. Be strong. Let's pray for one another. When I'm pung, I'm put you on, I'm beat you and things say you're happy, you're not happy. But we pray that we all change. Because the time is coming and you see it yourself. When you're either seven or eleven, you got to, you did tell me, you say, we soon can't travel. You remember you tell me so. We soon can't go now. We can't go to Jamaica. We can't go to America. We can't go to Africa. We can't go to nowhere. We need to think about these things. Then the one passport. Look at that. When you go to the bank, then the one on passport here. 
Aya fikansi da ame wan filuz mi mani awa mi afido. Virgin, we need to pray for one another. We need to release whatever in us that we strong in God Almighty. That when we call, he said, when I call on God, he'll come. He'll come. He'll come. But if we don't do what he say, we will punish. So go home, people make people upset. Of course, you have to upset and sad. You come out to church, you don't come out to bingo. And you win the, cup, the, oh, the black pot away in him. You know, you know. This is serious. We need to go home and pray and say, God, give me extra strength. That in that time, God, me no bow. Say, God, give me grace and strength. That me no bow because my children hungry. And in olden days, God, they never bow. This speech you give them, give me. I'll be praying ahead. I don't wait to ask God Almighty. Oh. Everything about me is ahead. That's why I'm not dealing with certain people. But when they look back, come back, 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 me no bother with them, brother. Because when me say, don't hit me, say, I'm going with them, something else, and something else, and something else. Ahead. You know, want it when it come choke you. You confuse, you want a head. We're going to pray. It's nice that we gather, but we want to know what we gather for. We want to know why we left Satan and demons them. I upset people. And you know what we could have done to them. And we don't bother with that. I make a lie, make a good hair. The vision. And all them little, you know, when they're necessary. But well for that. I say sin I must sin and sin proper. And that them is. But when you turn from sin, you turn. And if you find that the weakness creeping on is for you to pray yourself. For sometimes who you are saying I'm worse than you and they're not talking. But they don't want you, no. but they want you to tell them yours. And they, they pray like they miss God. And if you have got to say God, you make it worse as the brother was. Then think them holy. But those holy men of God say, get up. A man like you say, hey, give God the glory. Yes, give God. Mm. Give God the glory. Because nobody can do it. Nobody. We are only a vessel. And if, even if we're dirty, God use it because of his name, but we know right. That's why I say you can't call on fire from heaven. I am not in you. But for his name to be exalted, and for somebody to know that God Almighty rule, and God Almighty can do this and that and this, that's why. It's not because we're holy and pure. Somebody say pure, I am not. But God has to be exalted. But there were some men before us. And God said, well done. The earth is not worthy of you. Are we walking? Are we talking with the Lord? Do we live day and night in God's presence? Let's pray, brethren. God don't want none of us to go to know here. God don't want no sinner to go to there. That's why I'm there and giving us his word that we change to be with him. Satan don't want to unless we sin. Satan don't want us in hell. We got to obey him. If we don't obey Satan, we're not going there. So we have to know which one we're going to obey. Rather God or the devil. We're going to stand, please. Pray for you, sir. When you're at home, nobody knows who pray for you. When you're, at, when you're at work, nobody never pray for you. Amen. If you feel, say, you need a little extra, come. But if you feel you don't need to come for no prayer, don't come. If you feel that you can pray and God is working on you through your prayer, keep on praying. You got to believe in God and yourself. 
Somebody not always wrong you. You got to believe you're back up in a some, some, Lord Jesus Christ, they don't know. If you're back up in a something where you used to do and nobody not there and suit you, who can help you but young guy? Only God Almighty and you, nobody else. So let us make up our mind. You know, walking, you know, working, you know, sleeping. Amen. And when we wake, Wherever we are, is we and God, not we and them, not them and me. Yes, so that's why we have perfect peace. The word of God said, peace with your neighbor and your friend. Perfect peace. We're gonna pray peace. If your bottom not hurting you, well, and if your feet hurting you, it's another story. And if you believe that you can get prayer for that, you can come. We're gonna pray. You're gonna pray. You're gonna pray. And we're gonna pray for dear brother, these two brothers here. God speak to their hearts. And the word of say, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. And the burden of my heart, he said was there by faith the faith you have in God he said by faith I receive my sight and now you're going to be happy all the day father in the name of Jesus father there was a loud noise but you wasn't in it father in the name of Jesus your word the lamp unto our feet and a light in our path. And that we stop walking in darkness and do things contrary to your law. Help us, God, that your word will be in us every time. That we'll be changed. That we'll have a right spirit. That we'll have a guilty conscience. That we'll not be a rep to be it. But that our mind and our ways and our attitude that will not watch somebody but we see it in our own self. But that will not get upset because somebody don't believe. That will not treat them bad because they're not strong. And that will not drag and pull them like we as God Almighty and we not. God help us to pray and wait like how you wait long before we change. God help us to remember ourselves, how rebellious we are, or was. And just as we stop, if you pray for them, they will. Father, I pray you bring in all, all the sinners, all the wicked ones, all the Catholic, the Presbyterian, the Church of England, the Methodists, all the Muslims, by the church of God. My God Almighty, the Salvation Army. God, you see them, Lord. The Lodge and the Freemason. Father God, bring them in. I pray in your name, God Almighty, that they can change. I know that you are Almighty God in the moment. Father God, I pray for them, wherever they are tonight. And we sit and have the doing things contrary to your law. God, I pray open their heart and change their mind right now that they can see themselves and change. I pray for us, God, that baptize in your name. For you say, if your people who are called by your name will humble ourselves and seek your face and turn, not only seek face and humble, but turn from a wicked way, then you will hear from heaven and heal our land personally, Lord person would be anointed would be different would have that peace and love and understanding and caring and long suffering and anointed by the power of the Holy Ghost wash us in your blood and turn our heart change your mind change your ways change your action change us God and that we're not so proud but we're humble because you were so humble that you ride somebody donkey and yet you make the whole earth and every therein but you never show up yourself for them call you they call you rabbi they call you Jesus you never tell them call you so father they call you 
I pray in your name, Lord, that make our heart humble, thou mind and ways different, and that your light will shine in us, in the home, at work, and right in the congregation. And wherever we are, Lord, and that our lower lights will burn for somebody need help, right sitting beside us, and our behavior, somebody behind us, and watching our movement because they don't understand and they don't have the joy, they don't have no peace. Father, they're watching. I pray that the light of heaven will shine through us upon them. Your cry, Lord. They could swim safe. Our son of your blood. And that no aeroplane no drop on the house. And that we no flood out. Please God. Do Lord help that there's no accident on the road. God protect us. Those that going through well, that tunnel. Lord God help that water no burst. And start flood out. Jesus Christ of mercy. Father we ask you for mercy and covering. Do Lord for every one of us. Watch over us and I thank you that you give us another chance that we're in your house. In Jesus' name. Bless your children. God bless and strengthen you in your mind, in your body and spirit. Glad to see you. God is going to bring you. God is going to give you deliverance, my brother. Only trust in him. You belong to God like everybody. God no love nobody, no special. God love everybody. Jesus love you. You have good courage. Praise the brother, we are going to stand Amen. right now. I'm going to stand. God said, by this dog, that's the close in prayer in Jesus' name.